What's up, everybody? Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. Today, we've got a little hedge trimming about to take place. Um, you can probably see behind me here, I use a steel FS85. That's a steel FS85. I've got a hedge trimmer attachment here. I feel like a weatherman. It's hard to know where you're pointing. Um, and then you can see my little chainsaw attachment as well. So what I'm gonna do quickly is uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap the head on the steel FS85 for the hedge trimming attachment. Um, and then I'm gonna set you up and show you my uh, kind of how I you know, trim the hedges and my theory behind it. All right, see you shortly. All right guys, so this is how easy it is to switch that head out. Okay now guys, we've got our target right behind me here. You see this guy? Need a haircut? All right, so here's the strategy. We're gonna take our hedge trimmers and we're gonna trim the hedges. What I like to do is get a little Adele going in the earbuds and then cover up with uh, some nice hearing protection, eye protection, be safe. Unfortunately, my iPod is dead today, so I'm gonna have to do without the Adele. Might be a little crooked, uh, it's kind of my go-to. Let's get started. Guys, don't forget to put gas in your machine before you get started. Pro tip, pro tip. So I know what you're thinking, BT Willa, I'll never be able to get my bushes that perfectly trimmed. And you'd be right. 
I have about 45 minutes experience of doing this, you know, in my life. So it'd be tough to replicate that, but there is a chance you could get close and it's important for the, the overall aesthetics of your yard. Um, so guys, I really like using this FS85 because you get the extension pole. And so that's really helpful. Keep that in mind. Let me show you guys what I mean by that extension pole being very helpful. See this monster right here? Yeah, he's a pain in the butt to do with regular shears. So uh, let me set you up. I'll probably edit this part right into me getting started. There you go. Just crush that guys all right I don't know if that Sun was in your eyes as bad as I think it was but a lot better now it's time for everyone's favorite part raking up the leaves so I recommend one of these rakes and uh, make sure you have yourself a good dog to help you out and really just you know stay out of the way and it really helps to have a dog that really helps to keep you sane in these scenarios. So you're just gonna kinda, you know, just train your dog really well. And this will make your life real easy just to get all of these out of here, okay? Yep, that's perfect. Good girl, Luna. But seriously guys, just rake all that crap out and then carry it to the, the woods. Um, what I typically do is keep a little bit of extra mulch and I will uh, actually throw it out on top if I'm having any, any issues with um, it looking trashy. All right guys, be good and uh, just so you know, this little chainsaw attachment right here, I used it to lift the canopy on all of my trees this year because if you notice in my older videos, the grass, right around here was dead so I cut out a couple roots I hope it doesn't kill the tree if it does whatever but I actually used it to as you can see lift the canopy on a ton of limbs so it'll cut just about as wide as you want it to let me give you an example that little tiny chainsaw and that's a pretty good one there and I actually used it I think I used it over here on one a little bit larger Yeah, so it gets the job done. Um, yes, I will be posting the lawn renovation video here soon, so keep an eye out for that. The grass is just still very, very young. I really shouldn't be walking on it, but it's all good. It'll live. All right, y'all be good, and uh, don't forget, don't litter.